Hi, my name is Simon and today I'll be going over all things related to time tracking within Roll. This video will be split into two parts. In the first part, I'll cover off the different ways that you can log time. In the second part, I'll cover off what you can do with the time that you've logged. Throughout this tutorial, I'll be using this Wellington City Council website design project to show you how to do these things. Firstly, I'd like to point out that while there are many methods to log time and roll, it doesn't matter which method you use because they're all connected. So feel free to use any of the project, any of the methods that I'm about to show you. The first method um, that you can use to log time is to open the project that you want to log time against. Click on the time tab and then fill in the details down below. You can add the date add the number of hours that you've um, spent on doing this task. Select your charge out rate, which has an associated value of time. In this case, it's going to be $150 per hour, which you'll charge out to your client. You can select a task. And then finally, add a note against the time log. In this case, this time log is going to be for design work that you've just completed. And there is your first time log down below. The second method that you can use to track time against the project and roll is to use this, uh, the timesheet. To access the timesheet, click on the general time tab, click my timesheet, and here you should only see projects that have an existing time log for the relevant week. If you're wanting to add time against a project that does not have a, a time log for the relevant week, simply click add row and then search for your project down here and, and, and then select add to timesheet. In this case, I'm going to be adding time against this Wellington City Council project. Um, here, just select the, uh, the relevant field for the right day and then enter in the number of hours. The timesheet functionality is really handy if you're wanting to log time against multiple projects in one go. Now, if I was to go back to the project, I should be able to see the time that I've just um, logged using the timesheet function. The third method that you can use to track time is the timers. Um, to access the timer, click on the timer icon in the top right hand corner and then click start new timer. A timer should run automatically. When you're ready to log the time, select the project details. In this case, it's going to be website build for Wellington City Council. You can, as per usual, you can select the task, add a note, and select the charge out rate. And then to, uh, to log the time, click complete. You can, however, uh, before logging the time, make a manual override if you know that the amount of time that you've spent on this task in reality is uh, more or less than what you've recorded on the timer. If I go into the project, I should be able to see the, t uh, the time that I've just logged. There it is. The fourth method that you can use to track time and roll is to use the tasking function. There's two ways to do this. Firstly, you can open up the project, go into tasks, select the three gray dots in the far right hand side of the task that you're wanting to log time against, and then either click log and follow the steps or click start. If you click start, what you'll get is a timer that's been pre-populated with all of the relevant information. This includes the name of the company, the project, and the task. And as usual, once you're done, you can click complete to log the time against the project. The second method that you can use, the second process that you can use to log time against the task is to go to the general task tab, look for the task that you want to, wanting to log time against, um, click, on the, click on the three gray dots, and again, follow a very similar process of either clicking log and entering the details, or clicking start, and then clicking complete once your um, task is done. So these are the four main methods that you can use to log time and roll. Now, what can you do with the time that you've logged, or why would you want to log time? So the main reason um, that you'd want to log time um, in Roll is for visibility purposes. 
as you as you log time against the project, um, you'll get visibility over the performance of the project or how profitable um, the project is. So first of all, if I have the toggle switched over to charge out, what Roller is going to do is it's going to take the 18 hours of time that's been logged against the project, then multiply it by the charge out rate. That accrues a total of $2,700 worth of budget. And so if the project were to finish today, you'd still have $2,300 of budget remaining. By the way, the total budget of this project is $5,000, which was agreed upon in a quote. If I flick this toggle over to cost, what Roll is going to do is it's going to take the exact same 18 hours of um, labor that has been logged against this project, multiply it by the wage that you're paying Nate and various other employees that have um, logged time against this project. That's accrued a total of $900 of costs. So if the project were to finish today, in reality, you'd be pocketing $4,100. So this is quite a powerful tool. When you're talking or thinking from a client-facing or a budget-facing point of view, click charge out. If you're thinking about your bottom line or how much, how profitable the project actually is, flick that over the cost. So the fir first reason why um, you want to log time and roll is for visibility purposes. The second reason why you want to log time is so that um, you can manage your ad hoc, more time and materials projects. Let's say instead of having a fixed fee that you agreed upon at the outset of the project, um, you tell your client what your charge out rate is and roughly the amount of hours that you estimate that the project will take. But then in reality, you just invoice your client at the end of the month, um, the total number of hours that you've logged against the project. What you want to do is you want to log time as usual, log your costs um, as usual. Um, and then when it comes time to invoice at the end of the month, you can raise an invoice as so and then you can import all of your time logs. So you go import, import time, select all, and you get the option to merge it into one invoice line. The reason why it's merging it into one is because there's only one applicable charge out rate. And if I select this box, it just, oh, let me just do that again. If I select this box, it should bring all of these time logs onto a single line item within the invoice. And you can see here that it's the total um, 18 hours at $150 per hour charge out rate has been added to this invoice to um, total to $3,100. And that's the amount that you should be invoicing your client. And so you can see that um, tracking time within role for your ad hoc projects really streamlines your invoicing process. And that's the second reason. The third reason is for uh, reporting purposes or so that you can get a macro view of how your team and business is performing as a whole. So if you go to the time, a general time tab, you've got this time dashboard option. And under the time dashboard option, you've got a number of filters that you can add, including your employee, by your client, by the project and job type, and so on and so forth. Um, once you've selected, say for an example, um, uh, Nate, so my time records, you can select the time range. So you've got uh, options between, so you, you have four, preset options, which are this month, last month, this week, and last week, but you can also select a custom range by selecting two dates. Boom, there it is. And then if I scroll down to the bottom, I can see all of the time that Nate has logged um, during that time period. So you can see how Nate has been performing. Um, another handy trick is that you're able to export this as a CSV, then you can manipulate the data however you want on a spreadsheet. So those are the three reasons why, so th those are the four methods that you can use to log time and the three reasons why you want to do this. Thank you for watching our video.